A UAB exhibit showcases the science, magic, and medicine of Harry Potter's world. Author of the Harry Potter series, J.K. Rowling, researched the writings of real 15th and 16th century physicians and scientists to fashion the basics of magic in the seven Potter books. There has always been a connection between magic um, and what we would maybe consider the supernatural. The universe to them was a unity, a holistic unity in which the things of the, the netherworld or the things of the heavens corresponded to things in the natural world. The exhibit presented by the National Library of Medicine shows that the magic taught at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry is partly based on Renaissance traditions that played an important role in Western science. For example, the kidney bean was good for the kidneys. The walnut was good for the brain. Uh, the bleeding heart you guessed it, good for the heart. But we were able, through the Reynolds Historical Library, to supplement these with wonderful examples in book form from the early modern period, the exact period you're talking about, that give examples of that, in which uh, they show um, all kinds of what we would consider to be magical creatures, um, mystical plants, um, things that were seen to have um, special properties for healing uh, and uh, it'll be a great way to see how right here in Alabama we have pieces of, of that, that renaissance um, uh, richness uh, of, the, of, the, of the scientific world. The exhibit runs through March 5th at the Reynolds Historical Library.